Just gone 6.30, time now for your headline news, where South Africa has recorded 616 more COVID-19-related deaths. This brings the national death toll to 32,425. The Department of Health says 215 people died in the Eastern Cape, 27 in the Free State, 75 in Gauteng. KwaZulu-Natal recorded 72 deaths, Limpopo 11, Mpumalanga 11, the Northwest 55, Northern Cape Four and the Western Cape, 146. The cumulative total of COVID-19 cases identified in the country is 1,192,570. Recoveries now stand at 947,919, representing a recovery rate of 79.5%. The crematorium industry says the spike in COVID-19-related deaths has been challenging. It accuses the government of not setting aside adequate provisions for them to cope with the strain. Funeral parlours also say they have had to find ways to store bodies and find enough coffins due to the number of deaths. The industry role players have called on government to remove the red tape that hinders the establishment of more cremation facilities. And the ANC says its top priority will be to defeat the global COVID-19 pandemic. The country is grappling with the second wave of the virus, which continues to claim more lives. ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa delivered his January 8th statement under the theme Unity, Renewal and Reconstruction in the Year of Charlotte Mkweke. Ramaphosa delivered his address virtually as the party celebrated its 109th birthday. He also said corruption will not be tolerated by the ruling party. We'll bring a full bulletin for you here on Morning Live at the top of the hour.